Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we will understand log amplifier using diode. So we will understand the circuit flow in Altis files. We will run the simulation and we will see the output waveforms. We will see the actual result of this circuit. Okay, we will run the transient analysis and we will see the output voltage, output waveform, and we will match with the theoretical value. This is the theoretical value, right? So we have already seen log and anti-log amplifier in my previous tutorial, previous video. We have already seen that why do we need log amplifier and why do we need anti-log amplifier and what all are the application of log amplifier and anti-log amplifier. So in this video, let us uh, let us understand the design part list in LT Spice and then we will run the simulation and see the behavior of output voltage okay so this is operational amplifier lt1368 1368 the positive supply is connected to the v1 this is 15 volt the negative supply is connected to the v4 this is minus 15 volt this is v out and a diode is connected in a feedback loop so diode d1 is bat 54 right bat 54 so with this diode this opm opm connected in a closed loop configuration right and there is a, there is a register r4 which is 100k and this is the input voltage which is which is 2 volt okay so we have already seen in previous video what what is the v out v out equals to minus 25 millivolt into ln v in divided by i r into r1 right i r into r1 so so this is minus 25 millivolt ln in place of v in you can write 2 volt and i r i r is reverse leakage current of this diode d1 so bad bad 54 if you go and look the data sheet of this diode bad 54 you can find you can find the reverse leakage current ir for this diode is 1 microampere so i have put here 1 microampere into 100k okay if you solve this you will get minus 0.132 volt okay 132 volt so uh, hope you understand the circuit uh, your input signal is connected at inverting terminal and your non-inverting terminal is connected to the ground okay so what is the setting for transient analysis you have to go in simulate option this is simulate then you have to go edit simulation command so right now i am doing transient analysis so you have to click it here this is transient which is already ticked so this simulation run time is stop time is one second for this circuit i kept the stop time is one second then you can also write time to start saving data that could be one nanosecond okay maximum step side that could be also one nanosecond and you have to tick skip initial operating point solution that should be ticked click it ok this is your transient command so you can see this is your transient command now you have to go here this is the run button go run button ok uh, if you want to look the input voltage so this is the input voltage which is 2 volt and now you want to check you want to check the output voltage right so Uh, I will cut it here. I will go again here to edit this command. So I will remove this. This is blank to run simulation faster. So I will remove this. This is blank and this is blank to run simulation faster because it was running a slower. Then I will again run. This is input voltage. 2 volt you can see this is 2 volt and this is output voltage 
so you can see your output voltage is 130 137.20 millivolt minus 137.20 millivolt so what was the your calculated value your calculated value was minus 132 millivolt now you are getting minus 137.9 millivolt so you can see here you are getting minus 137.04 millivolt so you can see your input voltage is 2 volt and you are getting your output voltage is 137 millivolt so hope you understand hope you understand how do we design a circuit in lt spice how will you design your log amplifier by using diode in lt spice and how will you run the simulation and you will see the behavior of output waveform if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video